you are trying to grow your business or get to some really big goal, but you don't feel safe in life, on the earth, or stretching your capacity to kind of push you through that comfort zone into a growth zone, you're gonna really struggle. This is something we often miss, that ability, that innate ability to feel safe inside of our bodies, emotionally, mentally, is actually the thing that will allow you to more effortlessly step forward and push to that growth zone. See, the physical body is wired for survival. Every single system in your body wants to keep you alive and wants you to survive. However, the mind can overtake that. Obviously, we know that suicide is a thing, so we can override that physical system. However, that physical system usually takes precedence and we can be very unaware of that. So if you were trying to push through that comfort zone, if you were trying to put yourself out there, build a business, um, go online, step up into this thing that seems very scary, if you were trying to change a situation in your life that is unknown, that is scary. And without really realizing it, your body might be trying to keep you safe. I did an energy healing this morning on client and it was the last healing of a three-part journey and what we were working on today was physical harmony and a lot of this was coming down to safety and to old traumas that she had experienced in her life that weren't allowing her to fully step out into what it is she wants to going for her dream because she felt unsafe now there are many reasons that we can feel unsafe and even if you have you know experienced massive big trauma you know something like very tangibly life-threatening maybe you've been in a natural disaster maybe you've experienced physical or sexual abuse or something like that yes that is trauma but also little things are traumatic Putting yourself out there in a relationship, to telling someone you love someone and them not saying it back, you know, things like this can be very traumatic. Putting your heart and soul into your offer and putting that out into the world and then no one picking it up, no one subscribing, no one buying the offer. This can be traumatic because deep down inside of ourselves, we may have a wound, a traumatic wound of rejection or abandonment we may hold all these beliefs that we are unworthy that we're not good enough so to be able to actually move past those limitations we need to ask ourselves am I safe do I feel safe to actually go for that goal if you can put yourself in the mental like visualize yourself in the position where you want to be and there's any little feeling inside of your body of contraction, restriction, tightness, then that is a big indicator that you do not feel safe to go to that zone. So what can we do? Well, we can not go to the top, you know, we can stretch to like kind of safe step, a little bit uncomfortable, but still feel safe little bit uncomfortable but still feel safe and build our way up there or we can work deeply with the fear and really look at it come face to face with that fear and just simply acknowledge wow i am scared to da, da, da. it feels very scary for me to whatever that is you know whatever goal it is you're chasing whatever way you're trying to put yourself out there in your business acknowledging exactly how you feel or a part of you may feel is an extremely powerful tool because you're not trying to suppress it, hide it or deny it anymore. You're actually going, mm, okay, I see this is potentially a blocker for me. I, I'm scared of failing. I'm scared of this. I'm scared of that. That feels really scary and to a part of my nervous system, it feels like death. And my body, my beautiful body, my beautiful mind is trying to keep me safe. Thank you, body. Thank you, mind, for trying to keep me safe 
I see the fear. I'm going to allow myself to feel it. And once you acknowledge it and allow yourself to feel it, it's almost like there is a piece of space that opens up. The resistance isn't as much. What we uh, resist will persist. So if we're constantly pushing down these subconscious, even if we're not aware, feelings and emotions and thoughts and ideas, they're gonna keep pushing back up and there's this constant resistance. So the moment you acknowledge it, some space opens up. Now, there's many other things we can do, like there's deep, deep, karmic, energetic work we can do to start releasing these on many levels. But practice this for now. Simply acknowledge what you fear about success, and that will allow you to create some space to actually move forward. Forward, You'll probably find it a lot easier, in fact, to actually take that step forward that you need. And if you're looking for deeper work, hit the link below to my website, come check out my offers, DM me, and we can look into what's right for you.